This part two. So where are we? Um, we got the cover off, and we took the um, the bolts out to get that loose from the base. And there was a mounting bracket for this thing that had to take off to get the get the um, belt loose. So it's loose. The motor's loose. So here we are. I pre-loosened some of this so that we don't take uh, two hours doing it. You got to take the screen off to get to the clutch. The starting clutch isn't working. Um, so screen's off. Now, I already pre-loosened this, but you got to kind of pry it off. You know, just get underneath, pry it up. Just pull this off. Okay, and you can see it got a little rusty in there. Rust, to quote Pisser. So it got rusty in there. You can see some of these balls are, are really nasty. So the next step is to clean these up and put it all back together again. Before I get too far putting it back together again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spark plug out and um, make sure that uh, the thing has spark because it really s sucked putting it all back together again and discovering that next problem is it doesn't have spark and then having to take it all apart. Just a couple of things I looked at in here. Obviously there were no mice didn't build anything. I checked to make sure the governor's working. Right, I think you guys could can you see that? The throttle is working nicely. Uh, so that's all good. Um, obviously it's got some compression. I could do a compression test on it later if we're into that. But um, so there we are. Next thing to do is clean all this stuff up and uh, put it all back together again well partially back together again to see uh, to see if she sparks and then we'll we'll go on go on from there just quickly just looking at this engine it really really looks like it's got no mileage on it I mean little things once again make sure the fins are clean make sure the head gasket's not blown none of that appears to be true the engine really really looks to be in in pretty nice shape um, I mean, once again things to be careful about try not to lose anything kind of like using the tailgate of the truck for that it's the right height and it's got this corrugation so nothing gets too far from me um, all right I'm gonna clean this up and we'll check the spark put it back together again and see if we can fire it up another three minutes of your lives gone sorry about that